So how we deal with diversity in the years ahead is all the more important and all the more difficult because its rise is interrelated with the unceasing rise in inequality, leaving many people behind in our society. I want to stress today, however, this is not just a matter of increasing diversity and increasing inequality. It's that those two phenomena are intertwined and together are making a major impact on the sustainability and the vitality of our democracy. The Fielding Graduate University is making a major impact in deepening both these sets of skills for you graduates who are going forward as transformational leaders and scholars in all kinds of institutions. So let me briefly turn to integral dialogue and why I think the skills that are taught there, practiced there, and are doubtless part of what you have learned at Fielding are so important in this decoupling of diversity and inequality. Integral dialogue it has three major goals. Helping students understand group-based inequalities and the essential tie between diversity and inequality. To help foster intergroup empathy. I truly mean empathy and the motivation to bridge differences. And third, to practice coalition building, collaboration across difference, so as to go forward and help assure social justice. As Fielding President Rogers writes in Philosophy, Philosopher is a possibility. Dialogue is not a simple process. She writes, you have to be engaged for the long term. Not simply show up someday, it takes practice and skills. She writes that few people have these skills. And in her view, colleges and universities are thin on the ground. I love that phrase, thin on the ground. And helping people make the link between the knowledge that they accrue in education and their broader social obligations. Well, integral dialogue courses and much of what you have done at Fielding, these are one way to ensure that we in higher education are not thin on the ground. 